Hey Pisces, welcome to the channel guys. If you are new, welcome, welcome OGs, welcome back. Guys, what are we talking about? What are we talking about, Louis? Didn't somebody say that? Like, what are we talking about? Okay, what are we talking about, Louis? I don't know, guys. I be hearing things. Like, I hear things. I'm stupid. I like movies. That's what it is. I'm a movie buff like this. Alright, Pisces. Happy birthday. If I didn't tell you that, guys, my birthday is next week on I'll be 12 all over again. <laughs> I'm like a unicorn, right? It is. It's not real. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Pisces, what's going on? Are y'all sitting down, cooking, eating? What y'all doing? Just sitting there chilling? Whatever. Doing your thing, putting a puzzle together. What you doing, Pisces? Pisces, you got you have an unfinished symphony with something, somebody. You started a song, Pisces, and it's not quite finished yet. It's like you're in the middle of creating this symphony. It's not done. It's not done, Pisces. Something, something's not done, right? You have an unfinished symphony somewhere. Wow, Pisces. And then you have a new life. Pisces, this unfinished symphony, this unfinished song could be the beginning of your new life, meaning it's almost like the Ten of Swords in reverse, like, or the Eight of Cups in reverse, or the Six of Cups in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse. It's almost like it's not over. You have unfinished business. You need to be going back to the person you just left or back to a person where you feel like it's unfinished, like... We didn't put a period on this yet, right? Because we didn't finish this book. We didn't finish this paragraph. Like, it's not done. There's things that still needs to be said between the two of you. But I believe if you go back to this unfinished symphony, that's going to be your new life. If you go back and you finish that song, Pisces, that will be the beginning of your new life, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can y'all hear me with all that wind? Do I need to pull the mic a little bit closer? I'm gonna put the mic. Like, it's right there, but you know, Pisces. Holy Spirit, y'all gonna be a lot of wind. Holy Spirit, Pisces, Pisces. That's because it's the water in the back, guys. So it's really, it's, it's, um, you know, like, when it blows on top of the water, it does that. Like a mini ocean. There you go. It's a mini ocean. <laughs> Pisces, what's going on with this unfinished symphony? Unfinished symphony. Maybe you gotta finish something, Pisces. You gotta go back. Pisces, you could be dropping your burdens. You're not saying anything though. You're not saying anything. You 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 don't want to fight with this person. You don't want to betray this person. You don't want to be betrayed. Pisces, you are thinking about someone from your past. You want to let bygones be bygones. It's like you're not finished with this person, Pisces. It's like they betrayed you, but you have more good times than bad. Like the good times outweigh the bad. Like maybe they did some, and, and betrayal for everybody is different, right? Some people you hear betrayal, they're like, oh, they cheated on me, or they slept with Susie, or they slept with Tom, or they did this, they stole from me, they did that, they never paid me back, they took my skate when we was seven, yada, 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 they stole my car and kept it for two days, right? It's, this betrayal is different for everybody. It doesn't have to necessarily be someone cheated. It could be, it could be anything. Betrayal could be anything. You promised me $500 and you never gave it to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I couldn't buy such and such, so I was pissed. But regardless of what happened here, Pisces, the good outweighs the bad. So you're definitely thinking up some fond memories with somebody. And you're not saying anything right now, but you're definitely dropping your burden. Mm-hmm. 
All right, Pisces. Y'all taking me on a goose chase? Let's go on the goose chase, Pisces. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Pisces, you up in your head about this. It's like you had a stalemate. You dropping your burden, but it's still on your mind. Whatever took place, it's still on your mind, right? I don't know if you feel like you chose wrong, Pisces. In this instant here, maybe you feel like you chose wrong. Everything that glitter wasn't gold. Maybe. Pisces, this betrayal broke your heart. It did. It shut you down. It shut you down. But, I don't know, Pisces. Let's see. Yeah, Pisces, you, uh, you are reminiscing about the past. This person could be a king of pentacles. Somebody who's very ambitious, a leader, entrepreneur, have their own money, focus, detail, man or woman, right? Man or woman. Hmm. I see. Do I need a deck? And what deck do we need to clarify, Pisces? Pisces, talk to me. Where's my little deck, Pisces? Jeez. I just need a little deck, Pisces, to clarify. The King of Wands. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, Pisces, so it looks like you want to drop your gun. You have unfinished business with somebody. Right? For Pisces. Clarify these burdens. What happened here, Pisces? But you definitely have, you have unfinished business. It's like you still need to talk to this person. You're thinking about them, but you need to talk to them. You need to get some stuff straight. Yeah, you dropping these birds. Like, you've been up in your head for a while, Pisces. You couldn't sleep all of that. You're like, you know, I gotta get this off my chest. Yeah, look, nine of swords. You're like, look, I can't sleep at night. I can't. I can't be doing this. So, you're dropping these birds, Pisces. Pisces, what happened here? Five of swords in reverse. I do know you don't, you don't want to, I don't know if you cheated on this person or they cheated on you. Yeah, whatever this betrayal was, that's what ended things. That was the Ten of Cups in reverse. That's what made you walk away, Pisces. But you love this person because that was the Ten of Cups. Although it's in reverse, it was at, it was at a 10. For sure. So you definitely love this person from your past. What are you reminiscing about, Pisces, when you think of this person from the past? Six of Cups, Spirit. Right? Is it anything good? What are you thinking about? What happened? You thinking about what happened? Good, bad, or indifferent? You just thinking about everything, Pisces. Um, you thinking about why you took your love away from them? Why you took their offers back, or why they took their love from you? You're a hangman over this person from the past. That's your unfinished business, Pisces. Yep, that's your page of cups. I think you're going to offer this person a new love offer, Pisces. And that new love offer is going to begin your new life. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, who is this King of Pentacles? Aha! Uh -huh. What, y'all see that? It's your Ace of Cups, Pisces. That's your new love. This King of Pentacles is your love. The person from your past is your, is your, is your love. It's your new life, baby. <laughs> Two of Cups, Pisces. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. The person from your past is your is your baby, your boo. Mm -hmm. So Pisces, I think someone broke your heart, but I think you're you're in a you're in a place of forgiveness. And by forgiving them, that's gonna start your new life. Holy Spirit, clarify <coughs> this new life here. Eight of 
Lord, Peggy, you do have some fear about um, offering this new love, but you're going forward anyway. Pisces, you're going to get your new love. And you're in the King of Wands up right, Pisces. You're ready to talk. You ready to talk, Pisces. Pisces, who are you going to get? It looks like you're going to forgive someone. You have unfinished symphony. This unfinished symphony, Pisces, is going to be a new love. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Another spirit form. There we go. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. So, guys, whatever you're addicted to, doing, eating too much, not working out, whatever. Spirit said, get to it. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, guys. I told you, when you have respect for yourself, men and women like that. When you chase them and cry, beg, and plead, that's the biggest turn-off ever. That's like, who, what? It becomes a joke. So don't ever make yourself a joke. Just be like, take it with a grain of salt and go home and cry your pillow. Call your sisters and be like that. And go cry again. Cry in the shower. Pray. Get on your knees. Whatever. They don't need to see that. <laughs> they don't need to see that. They're not privy, right? They're not privy to your breakdown. Man or woman, we all break down. Stay optimistic, Pisces, about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and give this relationship a chance. Work on this partnership, Pisces. You have an unfinished business, and your unfinished business, Pisces, is uh, your new life. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace and share. And subscribe. Happy birthday, Pisces. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So if, if it's ever your birthday, guys, I say happy birthday on every video. For the season of Pisces, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the other uh, for the other season because I I certainly don't say it. Like, I mean, if we want to, Pisces, it could be our birthday all year round. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.